In Branson, some 250 homes had to be evacuated. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers increased the flow at the spillways at Table Rock Dam. So what does that mean? A slew of problems for people living downstream along Lake Taney Como specifically. KY3 Shayla Patrick is there. So how is it looking now, Shayla? Well, as you can see behind me, the spillway gates are certainly open. The Army Corps of Engineers last night around 6 p.m. was releasing about 69,000 cubic feet per second into the waterway below. We were given an update this morning and told that right now they're releasing about 52,500 cubic feet per second. So still a lot of water moving through the area. Water levels in the lake are actually about still two feet above uh, flood stage. So a lot of low-lying areas, as you mentioned, still flooded. Uh, this morning, even as we were passing through Branson, we noticed many parking lots near the landing are still closed. So you might want to call and check before headed th that way for work or for leisure today, as some of those businesses might still be closed. Just check before you go. Also, several roads throughout Taney County remain blocked off. We passed uh, Parnell Road as we were coming in, and several others having huge orange barricades saying, hey, it's dangerous to still go this way. Low-lying neighborhood areas and parks still remain flooded, especially near the shoreline of Lake Taney Como. And uh, the Branson Police Chief tweeted yesterday a picture of Alexander Park that was flooded. So it's going to take a lot of time for the water in those low-lying areas to go down. Even if we do continue to get a break from the rain, it could take days, even maybe a week or so before we dry out, just because of how much water we got so quickly. Reporting live in Branson, Shayla Patrick, KY3 News.